Welcome back YouTubers. Today on Omni Garage we're installing the Cargo Net for a 2019 Subaru WRX STI. So why are we installing the Cargo Net? Oh, I, uh, I absolutely hate having stuff roll around the boot so I'm hoping that this will mean that I'm able to, uh, to pull into corners and roundabouts and not have stuff flying all over the boot in the, uh, in the car. That sounds like a real god idea. So we're just cruising around, we're going to get some shots of all the stuff floating around in the back to give you guys an idea of what it's like. Here's the cargo net, so we'll open this up and uh, have a look at what comes inside. So basically it's just a leather pouch, and I imagine in there will be our net that will expand out as soon as we, uh, as soon as we get it all hooked up. So it comes with a bunch, of, uh, a bunch of clips and attachments, so we've got a pack here, which we'll quickly unbox and get these all organised. So we've got a couple of straps there. We've got a couple of hooks which will go on the upper lid, we've got a couple of hex bolts and we've got some U-clips which I imagine is what everything screws into and then a few washers amongst all of that. So what we've got to do first, we've got uh, two pieces or one piece of trim to remove and we've got to peel two back. So what we'll do is we'll start by removing this piece here. Um, so we'll need to move the, take the three trim pieces out three clips. So we've got one on the left, that one's out. We've got one in the middle here. And the only clip that needs retaining is that middle one. So if you break a couple of these clips, there's no worries. Easy as that, we've got the three clips out. So this should slide out nicely. So that's our first piece. Okay, so now we've got this trim off. What's the first step? So what we've got to do, we've got the um, the right and the left trim pieces. We just need to peel these back gently without damaging them, so they actually come away quite easily. And you'll see here at the top we've got a clip, so we are taking one of our U-clips. So we've only got four of those, so be careful not to drop them into, uh, into darkness down there. And what we're doing is reverse, so that piece is going on the back, and this is just attaching right there. So that's something that we can fix our, uh, our bolt to shortly. And what we've got to do, so we've got two of those to clip down the bottom here as well. So you'll see right at the uh, right at the side of that trim piece removed, we've got two more to attach. So again, that way in. And these have a tendency to slip. You don't want it to go all the way down, or you won't be able to thread the um, thread the bolt through there. So get that there. So we've got the second clip to piece in. So just peel that back again flip it around and you don't want it to go too far you want the holes to line up there so this one's actually slipping a bit so I might try a different piece it's a little bit tighter perfect so we're all aligned on that one and then we've got our last one so again what we're going to do is we're going to peel back the lining here again at the top and what we want to do that facing back place that up so we've got all of our clips in position now we're ready to start installing some of the hardware right so next step we've got our T anchors we've got two of those we grab the smaller of the two washers place that on there and all we are doing here is we are threading through that hole might have to jiggle this around a little bit we go just into that clip that we installed on the inside and you want to tighten this by hand until it is quite tight so that's our first one in and we'll grab our second one our smaller washer and exactly the same at the top here and again just hand tighten that until it is relatively tight Next step is to reinstall the trim piece, and this is before you do the two 
uh, the two lower straps. So what we're going to do, we're going to clip this back in. We may need to lift this tray up to get it to slide in there nicely. just click into place. Remember it hasn't got any clips attaching it just yet. What you can do, you can just roll, roll the rubber trim back over the top and that will just make sure it's held into place nicely. Right, so our final piece of the hardware install is to grab our clips here. So we are grabbing one of our bolts with the small washer and the larger of the two here. So we're making sure that our button is facing this way so it can clip onto the net. You don't want to do it around that way. So all we're doing here is feeding that through the top. Our washer goes on the inside. And this can be a little bit fiddly, but we are going to line this up with a clip that we installed earlier. You should be able to do that by hand up to a certain point. There is a, um, a certain torque that you should be screwing this into, and we'll get to that further down the track. Right, so our first one's hand tightened, and then we've got our second piece. So exactly the same way, we want to feed that through the top. We've got our large washer there. those are hand tightened in now so we're pretty much ready for the final part of the install which is tightening these two in and then hooking up our net. So uh, while our master of install fucks around installing little bits of trim flaps and stuff I've decided to pour us a little drink on the uh, Maguire's table here. So a little bit of LMP. Cheers! So the final two steps is to torque these down and then we're going to put the centre trim piece back in. Um, so these two pieces we can throw away completely. So we'll just torque these down slightly. You don't want to go too tight but these are the main holding points for the net. Step. This is the most satisfying bit is actually installing it. So we've got the uh, the two clips here. So we are just going to clip those in on both sides. So that's what our net looks like when it's tucked away. So you'll see that um, it actually doesn't get in the way at all if you don't want to have the net up and you want bags in the boot. But what we can do now is we'll unzip this. <coughs> Take the net out, and all we're doing is clipping that around our T-hooks. That's one side. Got the other side here. Pop that. Easy as that, we're all done. All right, now that we're all installed, load it back up and take it for a drive. Let's put all our goodies back in here. Don't forget the LMP bottle. Haven't forgotten the LMP, that's right there. Rightio, we're all loaded up and ready to go. Let's close her up. Alright, so there you have it, YouTubers, as you saw. 
Nothing flying around the back. Nah, so able to put my foot down a bit more and actually change the gears. There we go. And we've got nothing shooting around there. That was a pretty easy install, eh? Yeah, I think that took about uh, 20 minutes all up and that still was with us mucking around a little bit with the camera. So pretty simple install um, and you really only need two tools to, uh, to do that. Just like for the trim removal and then that 7mm. So nice easy right. install. That's it from Omni Garage. Please like, subscribe and comment and tell us what you think.